I'm Adrian Nunez, and you're watching Mary J News. What's in a name? If we're talking weed, it could mean everything or nothing at all. For instance, if you're smoking on Juicy J's Green Suicide, the name might invoke visions of you getting so high, life just ceases to have meaning. And strains like Sex Pot might make you believe you'll be headed toward the best orgasm you've ever experienced. So it got us thinking, what are some of the weirdest strains in existence? Look no further, we've compiled the strangest named strains from those inspired by celebrities, pet urine, and reproductive organs. Check it out. With a name like Alaskan Thunderfuck, you'd expect this weed to have some type of epic backstory. And you'd be right. Legend has it that in 1975, one Alaska resident looked to challenge state law by purposefully getting arrested with marijuana in his possession. The state ruled that residents held the right to possess, cultivate, and consume marijuana under its constitutional right to privacy. The man, attorney Erwin Raven, described the greenery in his possession as, quote, thunderweed. Thus, it became known as Madanuska Thunder, for the Alaskan Valley where the weed originated. So later, it became Alaskan Thunder. Somehow, someway, they threw a fuck in there because why the fuck not? What's cuter than a newborn kitten? Not very many things. And if you've ever had a feline, you know that very few things smell as vile as cat urine. So of course growers did right by naming this smelly strain, cat piss. The sativa dominant hybrid is said to provide a relaxing high, but its frosty green nugs smell danker than a dirty litter box. Remember that leaked photo of Olympic swimmer Michael Phelps ripping a bong in 2009? The stoner community definitely hasn't, as growers paid homage to the greatest swimmer of all time by giving him his very own strain. Now, does he endorse? That doesn't matter. The bud boasts an OG Kush lineage, and for optimal effects, we suggest smoking OG Michael Phelps in gold papers for the 23 gold medals he accumulated in his storied Olympic career. Some people say they feel closer to God when they smoke weed. Well, what's closer to God than God's vagina? No, I didn't make that up, and yes, that's actually the name of an indica dominant strain of weed. Where do people come up with this stuff? I'm at a loss, but if someone passes you God's vagina, you better hit it. For what is the quirkiest name of all, we've come to the strain called Steve McGarrett's Hair. This indica strain is named after the fictional character in the cop drama Hawaii Five-O. To be fair, Jack Lord, the actor who portrayed McGarrett in the original, did have a pretty iconic hairpiece. Look at it. Look at it. So, what are some of the weirdest names for strains you've had the pleasure of indulging in? Let us know in the comments section. For all your cannabis news, keep it locked right here to Mary Jane.